What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be reviewing and breaking down The Flash Season 8 Episode 1. So the episode actually starts off with a future scene coming from the year 2031, uh, which is not how I expected the episode to start whatsoever. In this scene, we see chaos everywhere, uh, with the Sparrow being the ultimate cause of it. I thought, you know, that was actually a pretty cool uh, scene to start off the season. Then we go back to the present where we see Barry save everyone from two trains about to collide. Uh, and this just, to me just seemed like a scene, you know, just to get all the action started for the season. Now I do have to say, I really like the Iris storyline in this episode, as her newspaper has gotten way more popular since Season 7. Uh, just like back in Season 5 when we saw in the future, that being 2049, uh, that she ends up being super successful. So I thought that was actually really cool to see in this episode. So then we see Ray Palmer arrive, which, you know, that's always awesome to see. Uh, Ray Palmer was a really great character on this episode. Then we see the Royal Flush Gang, and I'm actually pretty sure we saw them in Season 1. However, in Season 1, uh, I only remember them being, like, like just people who would steal things. I don't remember have th them having any type of metahuman abilities. Um, so they definitely changed that up. Maybe they, they'll end up saying Christ's on Infinite Earths is a reason for that. I'm not really sure. Uh, but anyways, the Royal Flush Gang steals something from a lab. And when Barry and CCPD go to investigate, Barry says how they were first they were the first meta threat. Uh, but he wasn't there to work uh, any of those cases. Because obviously he was in the coma when, he, when the Royal Flush Gang started to do all their meta attacks. Now, when Barry's talking about uh, the Royal Flush Gang doing uh, meta attacks while he's in his coma, uh, we see a flashback of a newspaper from 2014 talking about the Royal Flush Gang, and it's from January 1st, 2014. So this newspaper would have been like during Barry's first three weeks in his coma. And if you guys remember, uh, we got a set photo about a month back of Barry ending up in in another time where he was in his coma. So uh, his 2021 self would travel back in time somehow and end up in uh, 2014 when he was in his coma. Um, but this time, but that uh, that scene was from like uh, August or September of 2014. So that's like eight or nine months later. But then at their next heist, we see the Flash confront the Royal Flush gang, and he uses Flash time to defeat them, which was absolutely amazing. I thought that scene was so cool. Uh, we really ha didn't have any scene like that in Season 7, so I can already tell Season 8, I think, is going to be a lot better than Season 7. But then we uh, we see Barry and Ray are at that convention that we knew about a couple months back. Uh, and Despero appears out of nowhere. I'm assuming he traveled to 2021 from 2031 for some reason, which obviously he did. Um, we also see Despero change into his full form. And I have to say, it didn't look too bad. You know, for season eight, you think the CGI might like decrease a little bit. But this actually did look pretty good. See uh, Despero's final form or his full form, I should say. Uh, then we see a team up with uh, the Atom and the Flash versus Despero. And that was really, really cool to see. While fighting Despero, Barry creates a speed mirage again, which was really, really cool to see. In this episode, uh, we see Barry use a speed mirage, him using flash time. We see all these old things that he didn't really do at all in Season 7, so it was really cool you know, get a little bit of, re of a refresher about all those things. Uh, but then Despero says that Barry was good once, and Barry wants to know what that means. So Despero shows him the future, where Despero now claims that Barry has caused this crisis in the year 2031. But then after that, I'm guessing Ray was able to send Despero back to the future, or as we later find out in the episode, uh, Ray sends Despero somewhere else. You know, that's all they, they really said, that he just send him, sent him somewhere else. But then at the end of the episode, Despero confronts the Flash once again and claims that he has to kill him in order to stop the terrible future that he's from from happening. But Barry claims he would never go rogue. So Despero says he'll give Barry seven days to show him that the Flash is not a monster. But if Barry does something that Despero doesn't like, Despero will basically end him. So yeah, guys, that was basically it for the episode. I'd say this episode was actually pretty good. I'd give it an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, but I want to go over one thing really quick. I just want to point out how ridiculous this CGI right here looks. They make Despero look very, very good. However, this right here is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, they, they should definitely improve on that. But I'd still say this is a great episode. Um, and I'm really excited for what they got for the rest of the season. 
But anyways, I'd say that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment your thoughts on this video down below, as well as your thoughts on the episode. What did you guys think of it? And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.